Welcome to Lakeshore. I'm going to walk you through your Montana. In the very front compartments here, you are pretty cut out for a generator. You have 12 volt deep cell battery. Hydraulic fluid for your leveling system. This light here on the outside is going to be a manual. There will be a little switch on the bottom here. Right on the driver's side here, you're going to have your leveling system. If you have any questions, concerns about your leveling system, there's going to be right on the bottom. You'll turn on the power. When your vehicle's out of the way, you'll hit auto level. Now the unit's going to level itself out. Now to retract your rear legs, you're going to want to make sure the LED is lit. Push and hold. That goes for the front also. So as long as the LED is lit, it means retracting your legs. You're going to push and hold what leg you want to retract. To extend them, make sure the LED lit is not lit. The LED light is not lit, and then push and hold. Right to the right of that, you could have a 30, two 30 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulators are going to be here. It's going to be a manual regulator, so when your tank die, when your tank's out, you'll have to come over here and move it to the back and use the other tank. Big pass through area. For winterizing, you'll use the top port here. And then you'll want to switch your winterization so it'll start checking out here. Hot water water heater bypass valve there. You hook your water hose into the city connection here, and then you're gonna choose what you want to do. If you want to fill your unit or use the normal flow off the water hose. Right below it's gonna be black tank flush. Make sure both of your valves are open and you're connected to the ground. If you get a full tank and you don't, you're gonna have a big mess inside. The only one way it's gonna come back out is gonna be out the toilet. Exterior shower, satellite cable input, battery disconnect, lowest points of your water drains here. You have a 50 amp plug. Exhaust, it gets extremely hot, so when you start your furnace, make sure there's nothing up leaning against it, it will burn it. Water heater. There's going to be a sewer connection. Spot the sewer, uh, store your sewer hose. And on the far back corner here, you're going to have overfill, overfill when you're filling your unit. Coming around the unit on the passenger side here. You're going to have outdoor speakers. Outdoor speakers are controlled from the radio inside. Big pastor, this is the other side. You're going to have a sewer hose, 50 to 30 amp, 30 to 15 amp adapter, other 30 pound LP tank, full as well. We're going to go inside your unit. Black box you see here, as soon as you walk in, there's going to be breakers and fuses. A red LED light will glow if the fuse is bad. Coming into this compartment is going to be your control panel. This light switch here is going to be for the lights above your island. These little buttons are all levels. It will show you your levels. Awning uh, for your rear awning and your front awning. Tank heaters if you're going to go somewhere where it's cold. Gas and electric side for your Electric heat uh, for your water heater. Water pump if you can use the water out of the tank. These are all lights across. This slide out button is going to control both kitchen slide outs. So this one's going to control just your bedroom slide out. Now throughout your unit you're going to have little tap lights that got a button in the center here. You'll want to hit those. That will turn those on. Those switches inside your control panel will not control them. AC control here. The bottom bar is going to be what you want it to do. You're going to go the cool, heat, off, fan, whatever you need to do. Max air control is going to be the control there to control that fan. Going into your master bedroom, then we'll work our way to the back, the other side. Master bedroom, you are prepped for a washer and dryer. There are two other chairs for your kitchen. Again, you got tap lights above above your bed. Another AC control there. Light switch for your master bedroom. 
Bathroom's pretty self-explanatory. You got a GFI breaker right to the right with a light switch and your max air control fan controls for in here. Now in your kitchen, best indicator if you have shore power is going to be your microwave. If you have shore power, your microwave will light up as soon as you open the door. You can set the time on that one. Um, that's also a good indicator that it is working. So you can go through and set all that however you need to. Again, individual little lights there. Propane, you'll just move it over. Propane stove, you'll move it over to the light position. Push and hold the igniter. Little lights. Keys are around your sink faucet. So TV fireplace are not going to work unless you are connected to shore power. So on the right side here, you'll push down to get into your radio. You're going to have three zones inside this unit. You're going to hit zone, and it's going to go zone A. That's going to be right here. Zone B is going to be your bedroom. Zone C is going to be outside. You can control the each volume however you need to. You can have them all on, two off, two off, one on. It doesn't matter. However you want to make it work for your convenience. Now on the back side here, these lights are controlled by the two switches here. And if you have any more questions, we'll walk, we'll, I'll answer them tomorrow when I see you. I hope you enjoy your camper. Thank you.